Hey y'all, it's Kate from the Literary Apothecary and today we're going to do our monthly wrap up for August and my September very full TBR. So stay tuned with me. I'll have timestamps in the description below as always. So if you want to jump around, feel free. If you've watched my videos before, you know that August was a very busy month for me for work. So I didn't get as much reading done as I normally do, but I still have read some really amazing books. It was still a really great month for the five star strumpet to continue. I had four books that I rated at five stars and one book at three and a half stars. And I'm going to talk about them briefly here. I've got reviews for almost all of them up now and uh, the last review coming up this week. So check that out. I've got live shows on some of these and I'm just really excited about these books. So. In August, I read The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. This was my Patreon pick for July that carried over into August. And this is the first book in the Broken Earth trilogy. And I loved this book so much. The writing in this book was just so freaking beautiful. It was amazing. I loved it. I can't wait to read book two, The Obelisk Gate, which I'm hoping to get to very soon, maybe in October when I have a, maybe a little bit more reading time. Um, but this book, Evie picked this book for me and I love this book so much. I gave it five out of five stars. It was so, so good. I can't wait to read book two. I also read Malice by John Gwynn, which is book one in the Faithful and the Fallen series. And I also gave this five out of five stars. I enjoyed this book so much. I enjoyed getting to know all of the characters and the world building and the magic and just everything about the Faithful and the Fallen world and this book. The characters were great. There was a lot of them, but I felt like maybe because of the way I approached it where I knew I wasn't going to remember every single character. So I just kind of, every time we met a character that I didn't remember meeting, I just pretended like it was the first time. It may have been the first time, it may have been another time, and I just didn't remember. But it made it more enjoyable for me than some other people who tried to keep track of all of the characters in here, I knew that was going to be impossible for me, so I just kind of took it as it came, and I really enjoyed this. And I'm going to be reading Valor in September, more on that in a minute, um, but I really enjoyed book one. I also read The City of Brass by S.A. Shakaborty, and I listened to this audiobook, and I gave this also five out of five stars. I enjoyed this story so much. This is different, unique. Um, I believe she... S.A. Shakaborty is an Indian writer and this was just, this just felt so unique to me. I really enjoyed this and I can't wait to see where this story goes because this, along with like four of the books I read in August, is book one in the a trilogy a series. This is the Devabad trilogy and so I can't wait to see where this story goes also. Now, next up we have Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. This book was so much fun. Five out of five stars, as you know, if you've seen my reviews. I did a live show with Jesse at the Bookish Mom just this past week. Um, I did, I think our live show was on Friday for this. We had so much fun talking about this book and we're gonna be reading book two, Bloody Rose, in November and we're really trying to get Nicholas Eames to come on the show with us and talk about these books with us. We, and we love these books so much. This was a reread for Jesse, a first read for me, and I love this book so much. And these characters were just so much fun. And there was such great balance between character and plot development in this book that I want to reread it already. So I really, really enjoyed The Kings of the Wild. And then the last book that I finished in August is Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. And this book I gave three and a half out of five stars. Um, the pacing felt really off to me and the different shiftings of points of views was off to me. It was hard to keep track of who was who and what was going on. And I think that was partly um, Frederick Bachman's aim is in part of the story we learn and I will have a review for this coming this week. But I think that was part of his review, part of his aim, but also just was confusing as a reader. I read this for my friend Murr's birthday read um, and I enjoyed it. It hit hard, especially at the end, but I think I could have enjoyed it more with a different writing style. Let's talk to about my August carryovers that are going into September. So carrying over from August, 
I have A Court of Mist and Furies, which I actually just finished this morning. Um, and I enjoyed this so much. I gave this four, four and a half stars, and I'll have a review coming for that soon. Um, now that I finished that, I've gone back to Empire of Black and Gold, which I'm trying to catch up on the read-along on Ellen at Library of Alexandria's channel. So that's going good. I'm enjoying that. I forgot how much I enjoyed the characters in that because I had to set it down for a while in August, but now I'm back to it. I'm enjoying that. I'm also listening to the audiobook of The Fiery Cross, which is Outlander book number five by Diana Gabaldon. And this is a slow go, but I think we're really starting to get to some interesting points here in this book. So I can't wait to see where this goes. Um, as you know, I'm continuing with the Count of Monte Cristo read along, Cristo read along which is um, a three month read along with a bunch of my friends. And we're now into month two of this read along and I'm really enjoying this and we're just starting to get to some really interesting parts in this so I can't wait to see where this is going and I'm also continuing with The People We Keep by Allison Larkin this is a book of the month pick this is my pick back in uh, July so I'm enjoying this and this is my last carryover from August so now let's talk about <laughs> All right, now let's talk about the monster that is my September TBR. As you know, I usually have very large September TBRs, so that way I can mood read and pick what I want to read from that, and then whatever I don't get done in that month goes into a slush pile, which, God willing, later months I'll have smaller TBRs, and I'll be able to pick from that slush pile there. I think I'm going to create like a TBR jar for, the, for all of these books that I don't get to, um, but this is my anticipated TBR for September. We'll see how many of these I can actually get through, but I'm excited for all of these, so I hope to get through most of them. First up, we have Dune by Frank Herbert. This is a birthday read for me for my friend Evie. She was only Evie. Evie's birthday was just this past weekend, and this is one of her favorite books, and I can't wait to finally read this because I really enjoyed the movie. I can't wait for the new movie to come out next month, and I've just heard such great things about this. It's about time I read this classic. Next up I have Valor by John Gwynn which is book two in the Faithful and the Fallen series and this is a buddy read with my friend Sharon at Sharon Dwyer and our friend Ben who is hopefully very soon going to create his own channel and I can't wait to see where this story goes because as you know I really loved Malice so I can't wait to see where John Gwynn takes this story and these characters. And Next up, we have The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, another classic. This is starting kind of my Lord of the Rings read-along with a bunch of friends of mine. We're going to be reading The Hobbit this month and then starting next month and going through the rest of the year. Um, we'll be reading the Lord of the Rings trilogy, so all three of the books, one a month. And this, The Hobbit, is going to be a reread for me. I read this last December and I really enjoyed it. I did immersion reading for this and I enjoyed it, so we'll see how... We'll see how this goes. I might do an immersion read again, or I might just try to go at it alone this time. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. Next up, we have The Personal Librarian by Marie Benedict and Victoria Christopher Murray. This is another book of the month pick. This was an add-on I had back in July, and this is about um, J.P. Morgan's personal librarian. And this was a light-skinned woman who chose to be seen as white instead of black and I'm really interested in this story and seeing what this is all about. This has gotten such great press since it was released and I can't wait to finally get into this. And I have another buddy read. Of course you know I'm addicted to buddy reads and I can't help myself. This is Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane, the first book in the Great Library series. This was a buddy read that my friend Sharon and I were supposed to read in August. We pushed it to September because both of our TBRs were crazy. And who knows, it may get pushed again, but once we get to this book, it'll be the start of our Magical Library series, which I'm really, really excited about. This book has been staring at me for so long, and I really hope that we both can get to it this month because I'm really, really excited about this. Next up we have Shadow and Bone, which is by Lee Bardugo in book one in the Grishaverse series. This, 
I am excited to read this and see what all the hype is about. My good friend Evie sent me her whole trilogy of the Grisha verse and I can't wait to get into this. I was supposed to read this last month and I didn't get to it so I pushed it to this month and pushed the other books back a month. I'm reading one a month until I get to the Six of Crows duology which I'll probably do one a month also. Um, and I can't wait to finally get into this book and see what it's all about. Next up is another buddy read Levathon Wakes by James S.A. Corey. This is book one in the Expanse series and this was supposed to be a buddy read with my friend Jesse at the Bookish Mom. We were supposed to read it in August and like other buddy reads this has gotten pushed to September for sci-fi September so I can't wait to get read this. I've watched at least one or two seasons of this show and I really enjoyed it so I can't wait to see how that compares to the book. I will be doing a buddy read with my friends Christy at Christy Lewis Dostoevsky in space and Stephanie at Miss Richards Reads. We had so much fun reading and talking about the return of the sorcerer that we wanted to do another one. We're going to do a live show on I think Stephanie's channel um, probably in the beginning of October. And this is Notes from a Dead House by Fyodor Dostoevsky. I can't wait to get into some more Russian lit. This is going to be fun to really dig into and have an in-depth discussion about and just get into it. So now I have just a couple more books to talk about on my giant September TBR. I've got The Kingmaker, um, which is the first book in that series. And that's going to be a birthday read for my friend Ina. And Northanger Abbey, which is part of our Jane Austen read-along, one a month. Um, I've also got Dragonfly Falling, which is book two in the um, Shadows of the App series, which is a read-along on Alan at Library of Alexandria's Discord. I've got The Kite Runner, which is my September Patreon book of the month pick. This was picked by Josephine at Fine A Reads, and this is... Um, a buddy read. We're going to be reading it together and hopefully maybe do a live show. I can't wait for that. Um, and I'll have A Breath of Snow and Ashes, which is Outlander book six, audiobook once I finish book five, and the last book on my September TBR, not going in any order of course, is Birds Are Not for the Cat by J.R. Trass. And a friend, I forget the friend's name right now, um, but I did a live show with JR and Andrew at Get Right In talking about series versus standalones and he mentioned this book and I couldn't help myself for adding it to there and I can't wait. So that's my giant September TBR. That was my August wrap up. Let me know what you're looking forward to reading in September, what you read in October that you loved or what you read in August that you loved and I can't wait to talk about all these books with you. If you've read any of these books, let me know in the comments below what you thought. As always, my Patreon and my Discord information will be in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, keep reading, and I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.